Hello. All right. Howdy, everybody. So we're currently doing a live stream. It's been a little while since I've done one. So let me just share everything out. I need to automate all this stuff anyway, but we'll get to that eventually. At some point. I keep on saying that, but um, just I've never done it. So there we go. Send all that out. Bang. Cool. So if you guys give me a shout when you can kind of uh, see everything, it'd be really, really good. I'll just make sure my chat is working because uh, it's always really difficult to tell with uh, with chat and stuff. So sometimes, I know I've had it before where it's just not uh, picked it up at all, so that's what I'm mainly worried about. But if you guys can shove some stuff in the chat, that'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, how is everybody doing? Is everyone doing pretty good? I'm hoping so. It's always good. Right. So we're looking. We can kind of, uh... Yeah, so like normal, the uh, chat is uh, not working the way it should. <laughs> I don't know why it is, just um, I don't know if it's like the unique idea or something like that, but I can now see you guys, so thank you very much. So we've got um, King Leo Edits, uh, Tanaya Copperman, how's it going Tanaya? Good to see you. Uh, Lady J, uh, Christoph Market, thank you very much, uh, Christoph, by the way, for being a member the last couple of months. Uh, really appreciate it, really, really do. Um, 44 Sleek as well, George Taylor, Mark Bellino, Roland Nemeth, 44 Sleek, um, who else we've got? Quitster, hey Quits, good to see you man, it has been a long while, I know, I know, that's been quite a while, cool. Oh, and hopefully you haven't been able to hear me talking as well, um, and having bounced back and all that kind of stuff, but yep. Yeah. Cool, so it should all be working. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a pretty much, a pretty good chilled out stream today. Um, I want to do more streams. I want to get back into streaming uh, and do a couple more and stuff. It's one of those things I've been meaning to get back into for a while now uh, and just haven't haven't done it. So um, yeah, I want to try and get back into that. How's it going, Koala Man and the Nine Storms? Uh, yeah, it's all pretty good. No worries, Christoph. Yeah, like I said, man, thanks so much for supporting, man. It really does mean quite a lot. Um, also, if you do want, because you because uh, you did were a previous donator, uh, you can get access or plots access to the server. So uh, if you want that, then hit me up uh, some way. It'd be really cool. Tom Rodney Swanson, how's it going, my man? Um, yeah, so what I'll, I'll explain what we're going to do in this stream. Uh, it's going to be a very chilled out stream, so if there's anything you guys want to chat about, uh, talk to me about, whatever, uh, I'm going to be pretty much... You know, heavily onto the comments. I'm just in my herbalist, which I quite like. I really like the uh, turtle legs. They, I think they work perfectly for this, um, like herbalist type stuff. So we've got like this little, little hut, uh, and I've actually finished off this episode today. So that should be out pretty soon. Uh, Edwin Tyson, are you ever going to back back to Yarrowin? No, I've totally closed the, closed the doors on on Yarrowin. Uh, the reason being, um, with the conquest mod, it takes so long to do everything. It's really good. It's a, fantastic mod uh, and well I guess it's really a mod pack now um, it's a fantastic mod but it's a bit yeah it's it just sucks up so much time it really does um, the other thing is that I would then have to wait for all the mods to kind of like be update up to date for then update everything um, it's also the world conversion and doing all that stuff um, and to be fair the vanilla these days isn't as bad as it used to be um, and I used to be like totally anti vanilla so yeah, there's always that as well. Um, but yeah, going gone on to this new world, which is Pataria. Um, oh, the other thing, yeah, the other main reason was that with Patreon's members um, on the mid to, to mid and higher tiers, um, I wanted to actually have them where they can build. So, for example, on this one, uh, Bird has, who's one of the one of my patrons, has built these two ships. He's built, he's building a gigantic castle over here. This is looking, starting to look pretty epic. We'll actually be able to see it from where I've been building in this area, um, so we started to link it up, he's also got a dwarven thing in here. So that's kind of really cool, um, actually being able to do that. Uh, and there's actually, he's even built a pirate thing over this side, so yeah, it's pretty good actually. Well, really good, it's pretty cool. So hopefully that helps, yeah. Anyway, uh, Star Wars builds, it's difficult with the Star Wars builds. Um, they only do good around the movies, so a lot of those builds that I did, you know, like five five years ago, maybe even four, four or five years ago, um, they've only really paid off now, so it's like, it's really difficult to figure out actually are they worth it, and 
the thing is, I didn't know back then if Minecraft was going to still be around, and I don't know if it will still be around in five to six years when, again, it'll make it worth doing all the effort for those. Like the Star Destroyers, they, there's so much effort goes into those, seriously. But yeah. Uh, we've also got blood as well. How's it going? And who else we got? George Taylor. Uh, do you use World Painter for your landscapes? Yes, I do. Yeah, absolutely. I've got loads of uh, World Painter tutorials as well if you want them. Uh, but yeah, this is all... Well, all of it's World Painter. If I just... Um, well, we're just chilling out and I'm just catching up with you guys. Um, yeah, I'll just let it load. So, yeah. All of it is, is World Painted. Up, so the whole... I keep on pressing M and thinking it's going to be doing something. Yeah, all of it is. All of it's World Painter. Um, I, rivers, you can't still get... Or well, still can't get them perfect because... Oh, your materials. I could have been less lazy, to be fair. I just, I just painted, I just painted it with this like dirt thing for riverbed, and then just left it. So that's kind of my fault, kind of, you know. But yeah, all, all well painted up. Um, just, it's just a fantastic tool. Um, so this is in 1.14.4. So that's the we've got a server that's going on. That's birds, castle-y stuff that he's building over there. He's not got so much on the castle, but his his town's actually looking. Uh, like his buildings and things like that looking pretty damn cool. Um, so that's going to be awesome when that's finished. And I've also, yeah, create a little path down to there. Uh, I need to actually join it up. It's not actually joined up at all. So we do have joining all of this up so it kind of connects together all these different little places. Uh, but like I was saying, you can actually see it from here, including up onto this. At <laughs> this point here is actually really cool. I love this. I love it when like you're building something and then like in the distance I just saw this and I was like, cool. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Anyway, let's catch up with you guys. So, we got uh, Train Lover. How's it going? Uh, well, uh, Tragic Pixel. What else we got? So, I'm making sure I can say everybody uh, Lil Forbidden Ill. And, yeah, cool. Okay. Casper Underwood as well. Can I do Redstone? I'm not very good at Redstone. Um, I'm good at, like,. Machines and stuff, so I like making machines and mods. So tech it, I've been playing quite a bit lately. As those video videos have trickled out, I've, I'm like well behind with um, actually getting them up because I think I've I think I've like two, three episodes ahead. Um, I've been really enjoying that, but Redstone, it's just too clunky. Um, I like logic stuff. I kind of do. Well, I, I've been doing programming for a long time. That's kind of my job. Um, not so much these days. It's not so much heavy programming, but um, used to be. Um, so, but I just find redstone so clunky, it's just, it's just not, it's just not for me, honestly. It's just, it's not so good. Uh, Mark Bellino should release it on Planet Minecraft. I know, I've been meaning to do it for ages, like, the blank map, um, so my plan is, with this one, is that this is going to be my world forever. Medieval world, I don't know how many times I've said that, but I built one island, um, and then I'm going to expand it over time, so I'll add islands to it, and new lands. Um, so I've already started working on the next one, even though we're, like, nowhere near done with this. Uh, the other thing I want to try and do is, like, as a community, um, Patreon community, we actually start to finish these and then move on to the next one together. Uh, I want to do some more joint things. So uh, me and Didermis are actually building. So this is clipped off. Uh, me and Didermis have been building the docks together. So I need to I need to catch up with Dids and actually complete this. Um, so that's quite a cool thing. Um, so we got the dock over on that side. As a bit of a bizarre tunnel going through here. I'm still not totally sure about it. I don't know if we should do something up here or. I, I can't decide, but um, yeah, we'll figure it out next time we do it. So yeah, that'd be pretty good. But yeah, the other thing is, um, yeah, up for download. That was what I was talking about. So the blank map, I do need to sort out the download. Um, I'll probably try and do that next week, probably. I think um, I've just got to get some good screenshots of it. Probably a nice video for it. But uh, apart from that, it's. Uh, I just need to re-render it, uh, or re-kick it out. Uh, I've not really found any major bugs with it, that was my main reason for holding off. Um, the only things are like these, but... You can deal with them, honestly, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, so, that's pretty much that, anyway. Uh, and then, yeah, when I'm done with this interior, and probably what I'm building on next, I love this, I'll show you guys this quickly. Get a sneak peek before I've even built on any of it. Um, a sneak peek is... Up here, so there's a whole mountain path. I'll fly up because it's a lot quicker. That goes all the way up and across here. I love this rope bridge. I absolutely love it. Um, I spent far too long on the angle. Uh, but my next kind of like little project is going to be inside these this tunnel area here, and actually building a little like dwarven village in the mountains. 
I didn't want to do like a inside the caves type dwarven yet. I've got another plan for that area. Uh, so what I'm going to do is like almost, you know, like buildings that are kind of like stuck out here. And they go into the into the hills, but they're actually like an outside -y dwarf. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's my idea for the next next kind of episode of my Let's Build series. So that'd be quite cool. Uh, and then once that's done with the interiors of all of it, I think I'll probably do a chunk. So I'll do like from here, going across to here, and render that out and shove that up on Planet Minecraft so people can download. So that'd be pretty good. Uh, Andreas Pohl, how's it going? We've also got Warp Block. Warp Block, sorry, not Warp Block. Warp Block. Block. <laughs> I'll get it in a minute. Um, something like that, so that'd be really good. good pretty good. Uh, Adamite 2, Arc Player Raven. Hey man, it's been a while. Uh, we've got Brad Quill Max, Max Cod. And all that. Uh, Christoph Markut. Market. Markut. Markut. There we go. Not doing very well with reading names today. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, says, so did I watch the last Star Wars? So Star Wars 9. I did, yeah. It it wasn't, wasn't that bad. So, episode 8, hated it. Absolutely hated it. I just think it just broke so much. But um, episode 9 wasn't too bad. It was pretty... It was okay, you know? It, it, was, it wasn't it was anything like, whoa, this is amazing. But it was, it was okay. I'm going to switch that one out, I think. Oh, maybe you can give a crack. I haven't done that. Um, so I've done a little bit of interior in here already, and this is when I was like, actually, I could do with doing a stream because I haven't done a stream for a while. So um, the interior that I've done it in here. So this is the this is a castle that I did in the last Let's Build episode, uh, which is Arklev Castle. It was an old fort which has been uh, kind of built on top of, and yeah, it's it's occupied by the Majors Guild. So the Majors Guild bought the land and all that, so it was probably run down. Uh, they built it up. We've got lots of these like little balconies and. Um, these are toilets, by the way, just so, just so you guys know. Yeah, So that's a toilet, so I need to do some colouring, discolouring, I guess, uh, along there. There's also one here as well, so there's a couple. I tried to do this weird like little angled thing, kind of works. Uh, and there's also just some normal bits that have been built onto it. I can't remember what they're called now. Hoardings, there you go. Hoardings, that's what they're called. So I've done a couple of those. Um, Interior-wise, what have I done? So I've done bits and bobs. None of it's like final, that's the thing. Um, so we've got the Great Hall, um, so this is kind of like central. I started building this. I actually, oh, I did one change from the video. Uh, I put, put it all up by one block. I, I moved the whole thing up by just one block because when I was in this floor, to the interior, um, this next floor was like two blocks high and the archways just, honestly, the archways are like here and it just, it didn't work. <laughs> it just looked stupid. So I raised the whole thing up just by one block on this side and just filled it in. And um, I'm still finding weird little bits where I didn't copy and paste it all. So yeah, that's what I got. So this is the main hall. Um, it's not as big as the clicked off one, obviously. Uh, but it doesn't need to be because it's, um, again, it was an old fort. That's the idea. And they've just expanded it. We've got a small fireplace. Uh, I need to do more fireplaces in here. I'm not going to do what I did with clicked off, which was to actually have them go all the way up. Because uh, as you can see here, the walkway around uh, it's quite slim. Uh, so to get good sized rooms it'll kind of cut too much into it uh, so I'd rather have more rooms with more magic-y type stuff in default um, I think that'd be a lot cooler um, what else have we got in here yeah just a throne type chair thing using the uh, cartographer's cartography table cartography table um, so got that on there I quite like the look of it it's just on one side that you can kind of kind of see it but all the other sides it looks really good it's just a shame we can't like I mean, I could, could technically do a custom texture pack just to get rid of that, but then, nah. Um, the only other thing that I've done really on here is the kind of like dining room. So this was um, this was actually quite interesting. Um, I'll show you. Um, so the area that I've got above here, I got a weird staircase. I don't like it, um, but it kind of worked out. And I've done this whole like you know thing on top so rain doesn't get in. Um, but we had this like area on top of here, and I was like, actually, what do, what am I going to do with it? Um, so I decided to cut down um, a couple blocks, I think. I can't remember how many blocks exactly. Uh, two blocks, yeah. So I only went down by two blocks. Just created this nice little raised area here um, that then drops down into this this small hall. So they don't need a lot of hall, hall really. We don't need to do like a Hogwarts-style super hall. Um, but they can, you know, eat in here and stuff. Uh, so they've just got a nice little table. Um, bench style. Uh, they've got the firewood that's stored underneath here. Uh, I thought that was kind of like a nice little area. I did think, because now we can crouch underneath here, I did think about doing some sort of secret 
the place, but uh, decided not to in the end. Uh, and then we've just got off of here, yeah, we've got the mead, and we've got a little kitchen in here, so that does go all the way to the top as well. Um, but there's not really too much we need to do about that. It's, um, yeah, it's quite nice and simple. Right, catching up. Hey, Bram Va Van Huyedong. How's it going, my man? Been a long time. Epic uh, Davy as well. Uh, who else have we got? Matt Bomb. Hey, Matt Bomb. Uh, who else have we got? Lorenza Ragusa. So I try and say everybody's names. That's why I'm skipping through comments at the minute. And fake as well. Hi, fake. <laughs> Cool. Right, so let's, let me just pick out some... I'm just going to be picking out random comments, because um, it's easier. Um, so Christoph says, I, I don't like Star Wars 9, but I love Star Wars. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, it wasn't... I don't know. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Bert. Lord hey. Dacker live. How can my eyes deceive me in this way? I've been very busy with my study, and today my friend asked, can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears. Friends for three years old, and he still doesn't know my name is Bart. <laughs> Anyways, love you, XX. Ah, oh, thanks, Bert. Thanks, man. Um, I was gonna say, you've got to finish this. It doesn't matter about studying. You've got to finish the damn castle because I can see it now. From my entire like, I don't know what you want to call this place now, like the whole Mages Guild kind of complex that I've been building up. We've got to join these two, dude. We've got to join them. So you got to finish that up. We got to get some sort of path going on. Uh, even from here. I was thinking about this the other day, or also joining this path and doing some like caves or something on this kind of coast, because that'd be so good. It'd be so cool um, if we can actually just like this slice is just done. It would be, be so good. So you, you got to do it. You got to finish it now, man. But thank you very much, but and enjoy your studying. Um, what pain? Studying is such a pain. Right. Anyway, dudes, dudesy, dudesy, dudes. What else we got? Uh, Caspar, can I build bridges? Yeah, of course. Um, bridges, that one's boring. This one's really boring. Uh, I wouldn't advise doing them on 45 degree angles. They're just... You, you can't really do a lot with them. I did think about, you know, oh, do I make it like more archy? And then it was just like... just looks like a blob, really. Um, regardless of what you do. So that didn't really work. That's why I did this one at this angle and going up. Uh, and I wanted it really dwarven. So it actually, it actually turned out pretty nice. Um, pretty happy with it. It just, you know... It looks a lot better when you when you angle back. Like most things on an angle, you know. Um, as soon as you get up close, you kind of go. That's a bit janky, um, <laughs> but I quite like it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, right, what else we got? Apple, uh, what are you planning on that flat area of the roof? I know exactly which one you mean. I don't know. So, if you guys have any ideas, I mean, it's a Mages Guild, so we've got to think magic stuff. Um, obviously, this would be a pretty good place for, like, a catapult or a trebuchet or something, as long as this roof can hold it, which it should be able to. Um, because it's magic, what else we put there? I mean, do we end up building some sort of crazy um, telescope? <laughs> I've done that before on Mages Guilds. Uh, it's either that or do we build that into one of these towers and, and have that extended? You know? Because sometimes you see those, but uh, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah. Oh yeah, but and the dwarf thing is that that is true. Uh, I'm actually, but I'm going to be building a uh, a dwarf thing soon as well. So I've got this whole like crazy bridging thingy that goes into this area here, and then I'm going to be building a little dwarven kind of like village up in the mountains up here. So all these purpley dots. Uh, those are where I'm going to have little houses. It's just going to be a really, really small kind of dwarven village. Um, up in the mountains. And actually, up in the mountains rather than in a mountain. Which is different. So, we've got lots of areas to do the in the mountain stuff. So, that'll be pretty damn good. Yeah. But you have got to finish your dwarven stuff as well. Letting the team down, man. Letting the team down. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm supposed to be doing interiors, guys. It's terrible. <laughs> hey. Got one of my donators has joined the stream. Telescope says Shula. Sounds good. And it's good to see you again, Shula, as well. Right, anyway. Star Altar. Yeah, see, these are all good ideas. Star Altar. Working Dragon Fireball Statue Defense System. Defense System on flat area. To be fair, a Sentinel type thing wouldn't would actually be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I'd build it up there though. The Sentinel the Sentinel is actually a really good idea. Um, definitely. Uh, like a, almost like a golem type 
you know, created thing. I wonder if I could do, I could even build it like there, actually. That's a really good idea. Like some sort of... You have to build it at an angle. And I'm not very good at statues. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But actually, that's a really good idea. Um, I need like a note... I need a notepad. I'm opening up a notepad. Um, so, what, like a golem slash sentinel thing. That's a good idea. I'm getting up some lots of ideas now. Uh, what else do we have? Right. Uh, Jonathan Kent. Whoa. Yeah, live. Uh, remember seeing Dakadale like years ago? So cool. Thanks, my man. That's that one's so old now. So so old. It really is. It's, my styles come on so much. Do them on a degree angle, but they take a lot of work, and uh, small ones don't really work too well. Like thirty or sixty degrees more. Was, yeah. That's fair enough. So, star altar. And we also got, obviously got the telescope. So I'm just picking out the ideas for the stuff. Tree type thing, like in the arch, uh, arch mage's office in Skyrim. Yeah, I did think about the, uh, so the, that. Let's have a look, I'll show you. I'll show you. Hey, bird, you're on. Good to see you, man. Now you got to just finish that right in the background. By the time we whip out of here, uh, I want to see it all finished. So with the towers, I've got two main ones. Oh, I need to go up. I've built built something over here. Uh, right, so over here, there we go. This is the upstairs kind of area. We've got two main towers. Uh, this one's the tallest one. This is the biggest one. So I've tried to kind of like vary it a little bit. Good, bird. you got to finish that village. Um... So we could, in here, actually build something like that. It's wooden, though. That's the only thing. It doesn't. It isn't stone. But there's no reason why we can't do anything. But we could actually, if we had this one, as the Art Mage's quarters, actually have a tree in here of some kind and do some sort of fancy colours of some kind. So we could do that. Uh, it's either that or we go in the tallest tower. So we've got also got the tallest tower, which I'll just punch through for in here, so slightly smaller. It's only slightly smaller, um, but you can kind of tell. So this is the other one that we've got. Again, it's got this nice big roof that we can do quite a lot with. Um, but yeah, we've got we've got so much to do. We've also got to figure out stairs going up to all of these and everything. So there we go. Hey, Didermis is coming on soon. Awesome dids. Gotta do it, man. Gotta love dids. He's the Dane, so one of my people. Original, well, he's one of my people. Uh, from from back in the Viking days when my kin came over to the England and attacked and all that. Oh. Uh, how do you do your custom trees? Can't just, just can't manage them. Um, I've actually got a whole pack. So we we've got them on the server. We've got like a, a plot filled with um, yeah, we got like a, a whole plot filled with a load of different types of the trees. Um, and then what I've done is I've skimmed them up. So we've actually got. The schematics of all of them as well, so we can just load up any of them and just plonk them down. Um, it's a much better way of doing it. I guess I've got some lag at the minute. Yeah, I have. So yeah, we got we now got six pages of uh, of stuff. So we have just got stuff like that. Um, you can download it as well. So um, on my World Painter, I think it's the trees one, the recent trees one that I've done. Um, you can actually go and grab it um, and just download what we've got. Um, I'm going to be keeping that up to date as well. Um, I put everything that is on there. On our current server is up to date as well, so it's it's pretty good. Um, right. So, Shula says I feel bad using the plot trees, so I learn myself. Oh no, just use them. That's what they're for, man. I I use them. Um, Literally every single tree that I've been plonking down, and a couple of them I have plonked down, they're all just from the pack because we spent time on it, so you gotta just use it. Easiest. Yeah, so it's all good. Right. So, Jonathan Kent, how about some evil dark magic spikes coming out of the mountains that the mages have blocked with some kind of magical force field? I did think about this, like having a. Um, Something bad, but now I was thinking actually, no, there's going to be natural energy points, so this is a good energy point, that's why they've kind of um, built stuff here. Uh, right, so if we get on to bits of the building, I think what we need to do 
is do some planning out. I need to have some like places for dormitories um, is one of the big obviously ones. Uh, and also classrooms as well. So we've got these relatively open areas. But... I've also got these as well. So this is the one with the, the nice balcony looking out over the mountains. I do like this area. It's very nice. Um, so we could probably do with, I think, finishing the downstairs because although I'm like, let's jump into the different next bit, um, thinking about it even more, we could probably do with more fireplaces. So we've kind of got um, this one fireplace here which would probably not heat this hall, if I'm honest. Um, we could probably do with another fireplace maybe there. So that's got the double doors, so probably not. So that's got the double doors that go into there. Uh, what can we do with in those double doors into that area? Can we, like... <laughs> I was just thinking, can we do something where we can just, like, push through? We can't. But I... Th oh, no, we can do this, though. There we go. Sneak through that. So, this area, any ideas, guys? Any ideas at all? Be quite good. Any ideas? Right. Uh, Soggy Serio, thank you very much so much for the World Painter series. It helps much. Wonder if I'm going to do a cave tutorial. Yeah, I need to finish it. Um, I've got most of it done. Um, so I did. I did most of the cave stuff for this map. Um, I don't know if I can see on. I don't, I don't know if I can. It's pretty much just simp enable cave mode. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know this thing well enough at all to show it. But there's caves on this world, um, and as part of that, when I was doing it, I actually recorded most of it. So I do need to get onto that. Definitely. Um, so there will be a cave one. So that'd be quite good. This room has a tree in the middle of the second floor. The classrooms in the tower as well as the bedrooms. Yeah. Okay. So what into here? Because we could do that. We could definitely do it in here. Actually have a. Well, actually, I say that it's not centre. I remember this now because I did two, two, two whole um, things for it. Um, yeah, I made it for some reason. I made it a bit off. I, I don't know why. I really don't. Right. So this, I think, what we're going to do is actually beam this, so then we know where that is on the upper floor as well. So I try and I'm going to try and line up most things. Not that it's going to be perfect, but yeah, pretty good. Oh yeah, but have you finished Port Silver? Because I was going to ask you about that. Actually, I was going to private message you on Discord because I was um, I was going to have a look at it, and I was thinking of actually doing a video at some point with it, so we could do a tour or something. Um, but I wanted to make sure that you're happy with it and totally finished as well. So that'd be good. All right. You could do a classroom for young wizards. Absolutely, yeah. So with with the Majors Guild here, it's not like a Hogwartsy type thing. Uh, where they're just young, young wizards. Um, instead, what we're going to have is the like people can get magic at different times. You know, they just suddenly something happens. You know, something happens and they have magic, and they that's it. You know, it can just like be like they've always been magically talented, but not knowing how to use it, and they might get really angry one night, and actually they release a load of energy, a fireball, or something. And then from that, they get brought to the Mages Guild to be actually trained. So that's what's in my head of how it all works. Um, but yeah. Something like that. So with that being said, there'll be differing ages, completely differing ages. Um, but there would definitely be young mages as well. Young mages and young wizards, young witches. Um, all of that kind of stuff would definitely factor in. Um, wait, I don't, why can't I? There it is. Um, so that's what I'm thinking in my head constantly is like a bit of a mix uh, and of course there's also you know older older majors as well people that are teaching and people that aren't teaching I don't I don't like the chainmail at all <laughs> I'm just like looking at it just going like, it just doesn't look right I don't know why can we give him a sword I can't remember no I'm sure there's a way to do it with like a command isn't there but for the time being this will, this will do. Uh, Port Silver is kind of stuck in a state of being closed off on all sides, but there's still loads of space around it. Ah, okay, fair enough. So uh, if you want to do a little bit more, then that's fair enough, man. 
Got a bit burned out with the pirate thing because uh, you finished Black Cells. Ah oh, man, I, I still need to catch up. I'm so behind. Like I watched it years ago and then just stopped because um, where well, it stopped. Um, so I was like, yeah. But it was really good. It was a really good series. That looks weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's go for that. Oh, that was already narrated, okay. Let's put that there. <laughs> this is the problem with this, then. <sighs> it's because it's it's so much smaller than... Um, it's it's actually, like, I think it's actually a slightly bigger castle than uh, Clipped Off. But it really does not feel like it at all. Um, it's so strange. Actually, I was thinking here. Because uh, I could... We do no, let's not do that, but let's put that in there. Tell you what. We'll do. Let's do something like that. So we've got the chimney actually going up. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds pretty good. Right, sorry guys, let me check out what's going on. So you could do a small library uh, indoor garden thingy. Library is a really good idea. Crystal ballroom, yeah, absolutely, definitely. Ah, oh, birds, birds, seen how not done it is. Uh, it's fair enough, my man. Uh, we'll have to do something at the same at some point and give you a hand and everything, definitely. So here we go. I'm just reading everything. Uh, Tiger, will this map be downloadable? Yes. Jonathan Kent, a funny, more com comedic thing could have um, some of the surrounding area outside the uh, guild a bit destroyed with mages repeating it um, due to the sudden outburst of fireballs you said. Yeah, hopefully that's not how every mage gets made. Can you imagine? Um, I think if that happened, the uh, kingdoms, all of them would just go, well, let's kill everybody that has magic because, my God, they're blowing up. They're blowing up everything. Um, can you imagine that? I mean, it's just crazy. Um, this room here, what should we do with this room? So small. It's really small. I need I need a bigger room somewhere. It's in here. This is a bigger room, but then it goes on to the outside. So we still haven't quite decided what we're gonna do. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do. Adam Sager, how's it going? Uh one Els Theo Tout Sim uh Simplement. I guess that's like supplement, but yeah. Um also, you can give armor stand swords. Yeah, I know. How did I do it, though? That's the thing. I can't remember. I seriously can't... Because you click on it, and then that happens, so... I'm sure there's a way you can do it. But... Oh, I just... Who knows? Who absolutely knows? Bookshop, some plotted plants, a few seats, if space allows. Yeah, that's the main thing i got to get in, the seats. So, um... There's a couple of things that you guys pro Well, you haven't seen yet. The episode I only finished today, so you have not seen stuff, because it's not out. Uh, it's impossible for you to see it. But we've got, you know, definitely not Hagrid's hut, but based on Hagrid's hut. Um, so the groundskeeper dude it lives in here and stuff. Uh, so that's all interior, actually. I was just chilling out and doing that. Uh, we've got, like, uh, an actual greenhouse. So this is the kind of, kind of really colourful, lots of different flowers and everything like that so we've got that whole area in here um it's also really nice with the glass and being able to see the everything <laughs> the everything from here um and we've also got like a little tower for a rookery which i need to tweak it's it's very small it's got absolutely no interior whatsoever so this is the this is going to be where the crows get kept and they let them off or ravens or whatever um and they can they can let them go from here that was my idea with that one uh, it also is a great view to actually see birds uh, little village over there. I say little village. It's like actually like one of the bigger villages on the on the map. But at the minute, until you know everything else gets finished. So yeah, we've got those. Uh, what else we got? Um, something's gone weird with the biomes. I I started to change the biomes so that this doesn't freeze over, and then bits of it have and bits of it haven't. It's just it's just weird. Um, it's really weird and annoying. But yeah, we've got like. Yeah, little 
boat thing here being the idea being that there'd be herbs down here I haven't made anything in these bits but I can potentially make a little sea cave I don't know if I can be bothered with that or not though because people won't really find it but I don't know yeah uh, Jonathan Kent sorry I keep on reading Jonathan Kent's stuff it's just they're quite long and for some reason I'm drawn to long comments I guess um so he actually says, what is it, one of the, one of the more hidden rooms in the, ca in the castle, perhaps owned by the mage leader or secondary owner, whatever, could be dedicated to dark magic. Uh, that's kept as a little Easter egg, especially now that we've got actual eggs as well, you know. We can be like, look, there's an actual Easter egg. Amazing. I love how you just keep placing them. But I really like these as a texture. It's absolutely fantastic. And you just don't put them on sand and they're, they're perfect. Right click the armor stand with the sword of your choice. Or maybe left click. Okay, I'll give it a go. Don't ask me why they've got um, swords in the Mages Guild, but it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, see if I right click it, nothing happens. Yeah, because if I left click it, that just deletes it. I know, see? I can't remember. Um, are the brushes um, you use available for download? Yep. It's all on my World Painter tutorial, the first one, the new the new first one. I've done like two series of it now. Because um, I did like a, a, basically a refresh of everything, you know. With everything I know, like start from scratch and everything. Um, so I did that. Um, they're all on there. They're all by a guy called Genzong. Genzong's um, compiled like this, this awesome list of everything together. So yeah, those are really good. I uh, definitely recommend them. I think what we'll do is down in this one... We could probably close this off. Uh, so this is the main staircase. So that does that not go anywhere then? No, okay. So this is the main. That's the main staircase at the minute. That's the only staircase, in fact. Um, this could be a like a common room. I think we could do this as a common room. So if we build this going around here, and just have this this way, and get. Probably about there. Door in here. Um, and then across. With the planks. Yeah, just do planks. Shove a door into that. We can then at least have that as a dorm room type thing. Uh, and perhaps even this tower as well is part of their, their dorm. See, this is like a little corridor type thing. So we'll go with that. Uh, what have we got for the floors in here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Right. Let's go for... Let's get some more... Let's get some... Um, to think of it. I am going to do these beams because I do quite like them. I do like the look of them. Uh, I think they look really nice and like smooth and cool. just realised that one went the other way. So I do like that. Uh, George Taylor, I like the... Like the like it's a classroom and then you can add bookshelves for the library with the outside balcony being... A training area like the Jules and Harry Potter. Ah, yeah, actually, no, that's a good idea for... Ah. Oh, okay. That's way up now. That's way up and down. Um, so this one in here could definitely be a library. It's quite open, so it's all kind of like shared. So definitely. Now for the Jules area, I've actually got this whole arena here. So the idea being with this one, you know, blue versus red, typical kind of thing. Um, they can throw spells at each other in this area. Um, there's actually a bit of a tournament going on. And, yeah, there's even some travellers down there who have come across the lands, so they're all they're all pretty cool. But, yeah, definitely, I like the idea of the library, because we don't need a big library for this. It can, we can have, like, two different libraries. We can have the student-type one, uh, which just has some general books and things, and then we can have another one, which is going to have lots more, so that would be pretty good. So let's shove this in here and do this as the library. So whether, whether there's different tiers, perhaps, you know, it's like... Apprentice and uh, journeyman and you know master um, mage. Um, you can obviously have a load of other ranks in between, but actually using those to be quite good and actually have them locked uh, behind everything. Jonathan Kent's just done the crazy thing. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you very much. I'm hoping this just works. Um, I'm guessing it will. I know option at position. Selector. Can we not do... Do you have to do it as, like, selector? Yeah. 
So here. Sure arms one, doesn't it not? So that's the target, yeah, so. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's pretty good. We got Pedro uh, BR. Pedrod? Pedrod, sorry. Ped. Yeah, Pedrod BR. How's it going, my man? Hey, Didermus. What's all? I know I saw you from earlier on the uh, on this thing. Uh, but yeah. I'm sure I'm, I'll figure out the command at some point. Do you think about making the Black Pearl from the Minecraft 10 mashup map? What do you mean? Uh, have I worked with Grian? No, not at all, no. Um, the thing is I'm not, um, so Grian's like full-time YouTube-y now. Um, whereas I'm nowhere near it, no, it's just, uh, it's not, so YouTube's a very difficult thing to get into, I would say, um, and I'm more than happy to, like, give advice on, you know, how do you actually get started with YouTube, all that kind of stuff, uh, isn't a problem at all. I'm more than happy to do that, uh, for anyone that wants, wants some, uh, kind of friendly advice. I think we're going to have a nice lighter wood for this, so we've got like spruce up here, but and we've got the dark oak here, but actually for this room perhaps do this, or even stone is the other thing that I could do here. But for now this will do, you know, there's not many benefits of doing it, anything else. Just kind of, what I want to do is try and make it feel a little bit more life. Like this makes sense to have like this checkered kind of stone uh, going on, um, and obviously upstairs we've just got these like normal wood really, but I think think for the common room type area, or one of the common rooms, should I say, uh, we'll definitely have this. Um, is that pushed in or is that, no that's flat, okay. So that kind of adds a little bit of warmth in there. Yeah, uh, but yeah, not worked with Korean. It's, it's very difficult, especially for, well in, in YouTube it's really difficult and just, just general to get, um, to get anywhere really actually. It's a bit, a bit sad but it is just the way of it. It's, it's such a huge thing. Um, you have to be very active as well which I'm not always really active. Um, I quite like that fireplace actually. I'm not, not too worried about changing that too much. Ah, that's why I did that then. So I was just thinking it looks a bit chunky and then I was like, uh, actually yeah, kind of need to do it. The only thing I can do... Uh, where is it? <laughs> a load of weird noises. Um, yeah, the only thing... What was I talking about? I have no idea what I was talking about. I lost one. Marbles. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't do it. Because then you get to see too far into the hall. So I like I like sharing like a half because, you know, it makes sense. But at the same time... I don't want to be able to see all the way through. I tried to do this quite a lot with uh, with Kliptoff's castle as well. I don't like that tool. That it's got to be that, and we'll just go with you can see through it. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, totally lost what I was actually thinking about. Something to do with Grian. Something to do with YouTube. I have no idea. <laughs> right. Okie dokie. Uh, Million Hawk, can, please can you do a technical or lumberjack tutorial? Okay, so uh, what I've got for my lumberjack, which I do at some point, I'm planning on doing a tutorial on this. It's just it's quite big. Um, it's over here. So I did this one as clip. I think it was, the episode was clip field. So I think it was, I think it was episode four of the Let's Build series. If you want to have a check out of the the time lapse, but this is what I did for my this is my lumberjack type woodcutter dude. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. It's got a nice little... God, it's really laggy. Why is it so laggy? Well, yeah, we only got four people on, but it shouldn't be that laggy. Hmm, I don't know. Um, yeah, so what we've got, a nice little bit of wood that's been cut there. They're turning it into planks. Apparently it just magically happens. Yep, so they've got some stores. They've cut down some stuff. So it's this, like, um, mainly a big store on the side with some planks again. And then what they've got inside is, like, a little lodge. Um, I'm just not that happy with it. Um, I've done an interior on it, as you can see, but I, I'm not totally sold on it. So I tried to do these, like, cool things here, but it just looks a little bit blank. Um, we've got a very small room in the back here. Um, 
under the stairs. <laughs> it's like the Harry, the Harry Potter suite. Um, kitchen's not too bad. You know, it's pretty cramped, but the building itself isn't isn't huge. And upstairs, we got this stupid room. This is room I, I hate. I absolutely hate this room. I'm thinking, do I just get rid of the stairs and go with um, a ladder instead? Because I just hate it. I hate that this goes all the way around and then it's just shoved in. And then we got this room, which is quite nice and has its own uh, fireplace. So using the, the fire from there and, and that just goes up. So I have got that on the list. I just I want to play around with the interior a little bit more. Um, and then once we've got that done, I can then you know look at it. But hopefully that helps. Harry King, will they use wands or staffs? Um, as you would with uh, have a room where they repair. Yep. That's that's actually a pretty good point. So what I was thinking with this actually in the whole world is that some of them do, some of them don't. So wands and staffs, like there are magical items which help channel their power. So that's the idea that it actually helps channel your power rather than anything else. So it doesn't mean you need to have it. You don't need to actually have a wand. You don't need to have a staff. Um, you can spell cast. You can do healing, obviously, without that. But um, yeah, all that kind of stuff would be pretty good. God, there is a bit of lag spikes at the minute. It's very strange. Very, very strange. Um, yeah, so that was the that was the way I was thinking about it. It's like to channel them. Doesn't mean that you have to do it. Probably the arc mages, the master mages, they could just do do magic, whatever it is, without anything. But uh, yeah, I see it's all burned. There we go. Apparently he's getting kicked for, for using might be using phase. I need to I need to sort this out. This um I got this anti thing. But meh. Uh right. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Jonathan Kent. We'll give that a go. You're all timed out. I don't know what's going on, it's weird. It's really weird. It's fine before you guys came in. Do you have to like look at it? I'm guessing. No, only I want to. Yeah, no, but I just like the mouse wall of one. No idea. Oh, wait, that looks more. No entity. No entities. Type armor. Don't know. No idea. No idea whatsoever. Very strange. Anyway, yeah. Uh, map on my feel like that flat part in the castle should have something to do with astronomy. Star map observatory. Absolutely. Yep. Anyone has a good connection? Um, yeah, apparently my connection is terrible. Wow, that's strange. Uh, unless it's just because I'm streaming as well. Um, but yeah, apparently, very very strange. Right, so in the common room, I think we need some we need some books. We need some other stuff. We need to like really start slamming through this stuff now. Uh, my plan was to like just finish it so I can do a tour video on it. Um, I can then go onto the dwarven stuff, get the interiors done of those pretty quickly. And kind of move on from there. I think what we'll do. There's a perfect place for it. Oh, obviously, this is a perfect place, but I might just. I know there's no point in doing that. We're going to get a loom. It's not as cool and as secret as the Harry Potter stuff, but we've got some empty books. I'm not so keen on those now. Um, I think I'm going to go with some birch instead. Uh, jungle. Wow, timed out. Oh man. Strange. Very, very strange. Who knows? Uh, bird sense, anyway. Uh, speaking of that star thing on the flat roof, uh, the new castle of mine for is a star oriented religion. Ah, okay. That sounds good. Right, loom. Maybe we could tie that together. 
Definitely, man. That sounds good, bud. I love that. Uh, Jonathan, something along those lines. Yeah, no worries, man. Not a problem at all. Um, I know... I, the thing is, I've done it before. I just... I haven't, for some reason... I need to, like, make a library of this stuff where I just have, like, a spreadsheet somewhere that just contains all of this data. Um, that's what we need. A super spreadsheet. Definitely. For sure. Should we go with a red couch type thing? I was thinking another brick. And I'm thinking now, actually... I don't know what they would have. I mean... I don't want to make them like a actual... I, I kind of feel like they would be able to actually have a sofa. It's just <laughs> not orange. I just don't know. What do you guys think? Do, do, do majors have sofas? I can imagine them getting quite a lot of money in, you know, because you're going to have uh, majors for, you know, your, like, court majors, um, and also all of the different healing potion type stuff that they'll be having, they can sell that on as well. So there's quite a lot that I can imagine them having. So that's that's in my head. So money wise, they can get they can get somebody to make a sofa. Without a doubt. It's just probably not orange or yellowy coloured. Something like that. Uh Mary Doe, I jump around in big builds. Uh I then go back with more details to work on one build or room, then get distracted to another room. Yeah, that's pretty much how I work as well, except I don't ever finish anything. But I do. Actually th this I've been really trying quite hard with all of this. Um I really have. Um, really, really hard, and I've actually done pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with everything that's going on so far with this uh, entire, not really this castle, but I am pretty happy with everything else. So it's been good. Uh, Enderman Yamoto, Yamoto. Uh, it looks like the connection's a little bit better now. So it did apparently your connection is now like none, and everyone else is, is okay, kind of. No idea. It's probably moved. Um, they seem to be, like doing that quite a bit, just like moving the server around. So, for whatever reason, who knows? Who knows what it is? Uh, so I'll, at some point, I'll move it back to. I'm hoping it's like, if it's in the UK, awesome. If it's not in the UK, if it's in Europe, then that's fine by me. Right, let's go with something. A small little table. Uh, probably with dark. Oh no, not dark oak, because that's going to stand out. I can't, can't do it there, of course I can't. Um, so then can we do something like this, where we have a little, you know, because I can imagine them like, you know, if it's going to be a common room, you're going to be like sat here, you're going to be like studying, uh, obviously. Probably, I can just imagine them like trying to sit in front of the fire and just like chilling out a little bit. Make so those slabs and blocks behind them. Yeah, the only thing is that it gets too big. Uh, what I want to try and do is keep it really small, really everything. Um, yeah, but all Europe based. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it just might be the. Because um, I noticed it the other day, the server was in. It moved to like Paris, um, which shouldn't matter for us at all. Um, not not even in the slightest. But you never know. So yeah. Who knows? I can actually put that there. Let's get some paintings down as well. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll do like a transfer or whatever it is, and try and get it more central again. Uh, Germany's usually the best place. Um, I found it just always is. Uh, so, German guys, you're always the best. Ah, here we go. If we do like little bits like this, what else would they have? I mean, honestly, you'd probably just have like these little chill out areas. We can probably do this again. Have another sofa. That just looks stupid. Um, little chair thing like that. Why not? And have we got anywhere we can build? Because this isn't a castle anymore. Ah, okay, so that's we've got windows up there instead. I was going to say, because this isn't, isn't a castle anymore, um, it doesn't necessarily need to have just defensive stuff. Um, there's definitely going to be things that they've switched out for comfort to make it look interesting and everything like that. So that's that's what I've got in my head. I feel like the Archmage would have a, a crockety old guy who thinks the mages should be tough. That's true as well. I, I, I can imagine that. Oh, no, look. Can't do like a window there. But to be fair, I didn't like that. <laughs> Germany is quite OP. Oh, they are absolutely. Yeah, no doubt. Right, there we go. So we got some light in here. Um, I think it definitely fits. We'll have like pretty small kind of stuff there. We can get. Now we can get the paintings in. I oh, can't put it there. Okay. Sure.
sure. <laughs> why not? Sure, why not? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> make it a little bit spooky, you know? Uh, we could probably just do with some normal carpet as well. Uh, and we could put some wood on the side here. Look at that. Bang. Let's get some logs. Wood. And then I'll catch up with you guys, because it's always... If you've ever been on one of my streams before, I'm always like... Um, Sometimes I'm like really on it, and I'll be like answering questions, and then sometimes I'll just be like not at all. And it's because I'm like I'm like staring at this screen. So as soon as I'm staring at that screen, it's always a bit difficult. But I will get back to it. There we go. Right. Okay. Don't really like that. That one. But just do that. It's nice and simple. Um, that's all we really need. We only really need simple stuff. I'll leave the sofa in there for now. With a mind to change it perhaps at a later date, so that can kind of happen. So this will be like, yeah, just a normal little common room. Come in here and chill out on all that kind of stuff. Right, anyway. Have I said hello to everyone? Hopefully I have. Maybe I haven't. The, the lag spike seems to have fixed itself, so... Don't know what's happened on there. Uh, Soccer Zero, you can make a monster arena like in Deathly Hallows where Harry has to steal the golden egg thing. It's interesting. Perhaps a flower garden when they grow herbs uh, for potion and spell casting. Oh man, I'm already ahead of you on that. I'm already ahead of you on two different bits. We've got the greenhouse in there. And we've also got a herb list growing all types of herbs down here. I actually like this. I really like this, like little shops. This is actually out of the grounds, but... Um, Really simple, little bits and bobs around here. Literally just using the flowers because, you know, let's be honest, we haven't got loads, but it kind of works pretty good. Got all that kind of stuff, um, berries and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, in the, in the actual house, they've got a little, like, uh, alchemy shop, potion shop. I don't know. So this is, like, the outwards facing part of it. So I can ma imagine, like, this really old bearded dude called Bob. Uh, no, it's probably not going to be called Bob. Called something. Um, and he's been like a mage for hundreds, over a hundred years or whatever. You know, he's been he's over a hundred years old, and he's just he doesn't travel anymore, but he likes his plants. Um, so he kind of just chills out and, and does that kind of stuff. Uh, I can imagine that happening. I'm not really too sure. All right, so with the light, it's not too dark. I can definitely do is switching that one out for a stair. It's the little things. Even if we get these little bits and bobs done, I'll be pretty happy. And plus, we're just chilling out on a stream, so it's not too bad. Um, right, so we've got that. This in here, I don't, I don't know. We've already got one set of stairs over on this side. So what can we uh, have joined onto this like common room? Because this is quite a nice common room. It's nice and warm. Uh, what can we put into here? Uh, if anyone got any ideas for? What we should do. So we can't really do much down there. Hmm. One very big rubber band. It's free now, is it? Hmm. Damn. So it's... Oh yeah, when it's saving, it will definitely do that. Whenever it does the save server thing. Um, I could probably do with reducing that. It just means that nothing gets uh, caught. Uh, Quit says casual should have some sort of rookery. So I've got one in a little tower. <laughs> Surf wasn't made for four. It definitely should be. It's definitely like over spec for four. It should be like about 32 people. Because I was like, oh, well, let's get up. The only thing is that obviously we've got quite a lot that gets loaded in. Um, and I have got the draw distance up quite high for, uh, for doing time lapses. But yeah, that's the little rookery that I've got in there. Little, little tower. Um, anyway, let's have a look. Orchids around. Yeah, I did think about orchids, but then I was thinking actually, because they're such a uniquely same with cornflower. Actually, I did I did have some orchids in. Where did I have them? I think I had the orchids. Did I put them in here or not? I was thinking about this, and I was like, actually, I want to have them like hot weather. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So there's only one orchid. I'm trying to make it rare, so um, it's got to be in like a warm place because this is like way in the mountains. There's even snow around, you know. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, we've got to just try and keep that quite small. 
what about some blacksmiths um, where they make magical items? That's where the dwarves. So we got some dwarves in the hills that they kind of like trade with. Um, but yeah, that'd be pretty good. Uh, did I miss that? Might be that might be the anti cheat plugin, uh, which I need to tweak. Uh, I'm totally aware of needing to tweak it. Uh, I just haven't got around to doing it. It's it's one of those things that's really difficult to test. Um, but yeah. It is, without a doubt, something I need to do. Yep. See, Bert's got it. Bert's got it. 100%. He knows what it's got, what's on. But it is the anti-cheat plugin that's doing it. Um, I just need to tweak it. I just need to tweak it. Okay, so that's the toilet. So people need to be able to get into here. Um... Library in that tower? I know, we're going to go for a library on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, Bird, you got to stop hacking, even though I know you're not hacking, because I've done it when I've uh, switched off op, and I've had it where I've been flung back. And it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's really frustrating, so I don't understand. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's dead in the middle, then. Oh, at least at this room. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be anywhere else. I can then at least do that. Is that right? Yes, yeah, right. I think these... Oh, these are the same. Okay, those two towers are the same. Don't know what to put in these towers, but we can figure that out later. Just lock them off for the time being. Don't even have to have doors going into here, because we've got doors going into this main bit, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so that might be a good idea, actually, having these... Separate. Um, we could potentially, potentially, have this one having a a way up. Um, some staircase. I don't know. Can't really, can't really decide. These are the value. Absolutely love them. Yeah, absolutely love the ladies of value. They're great. I'm glad that they added them into it. I love them in uh, Conquest. So the manning would be great. We should put a library, dining hall, got the dining hall. Chapel we won't have because they're mages. Uh, stables, I didn't have a stables at all because um, they're mages and I can imagine them like... Well, what I've got done with the... the actually, oh god, I've missed something. I just realised I missed something. So I've got carriages for them all. So they, they do need to actually have somewhere to put their horses up. Um, we can fix that now though. <laughs> really didn't think about that. Oh no, 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 look, they tie them onto these sticks. Fixed. There you go. Explained it away. So yeah, they they'll do that. They have those little things. What else we've got? Uh, enchanting room. Absolutely. Bedrooms and entry halls. Yep. Bakery. Um. Yeah. Actually, they've got a. They have got a kitchen. I can imagine wizard bread being pretty mad, but yeah, it's not too bad. So we've got this in here. Um. I can actually do with finishing off this area. I know we're just jumping around everywhere, but um, I was thinking about this the other day. Or well, not really the other day. Not too long ago. And I was thinking, like, do we... Or do I even put in a table on this side? I think I probably will. Um, so we'll have, like, a, a higher table. And I think we will actually make it, like, up here. So do it on. Let's get some slabs. So we'll do it, actually, higher up. So it is up, raised by one block. So the teachers, this is where the teachers would be. So I'd have like something here. Uh, yeah, we've got the oak. Like a little table in here. And then what we can do with this bit if we knock. Definitely don't knock through the wall, but you know, anywhere else is fine. Um, and then we can just go from here. Having those. We do stair slab. Stare, I think. Stare in that bit. And then just have, like, really, really simple little table thing on this bit with fancier looking chairs, which probably go with these. And if we're doing that, let's go with dark oak as well. There we go. Helps if I actually. God, I'm in this, stuck in the ceiling now. <laughs> Get that up onto there. There you go. So I have like, yeah, little plates, stuff, 
and yeah, a whole cake as well for themselves. So yeah, something like that will do. Um, I'm not too happy with this. I could probably do with, in fact, doing something like. So I'll have that instead. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So that'll do. Um, and we could probably also do with them having their own lantern on the side. I just realised how dark it is in here, actually. There we go. That'll do. Um, right, cool. Ah, uh, Matt Bomb, what about a room where they copy down books like they had in medieval uh, monasteries? That is a really good idea, actually. Uh, having an actual printing press somewhere would is, is such a fantastic idea. Like, seriously, that's so cool. Because I can imagine them doing that. Uh, printing press. Because can, can you imagine that? If you're, I, I mean, I know that the monks obviously did it for studying the Bible and everything like that. But imagine it for, um, for wizards. It kind of makes sense. So I was just getting comfortable. <laughs> I was like, I've got some boxes under my desk, and I was like, I need to move those actually. Oh, right. There we go. Um, right. God, feels like my mic's in the wrong place now as well. That's because it is. What else we got? Uh, can you put the evil? Uh, majors anywhere but the basement just because like we're evil doesn't mean we're bad <laughs> so I have to have a penthouse too I know I did think about all that for stuff like um, especially with uh, like necromancers and having those around because they're definitely going to be around and having layers and all that kind of stuff but I, d I don't know <sighs> I think what you've got to think about in fantasy is that a majors guild if they're going to allow somewhere where they train mages they're going to want to know that there's like standards, there's good, there's evil, you know. They don't want to, sorry, they don't want there to be an evil. Um, so I can imagine that being like a pretty big factor in the whole thing. Um, personally, I wouldn't, as a king, you know. I'd be like, nah, you, you, you can't actually have bad. You can't train them in like blood magic or anything like that, you know. There would have to be some sort of rules that the kingdom itself does there we go, that's, it's probably laggy it's probably gonna lag out again um yeah there's definitely be rules that the kingdom set because i cannot imagine it working any other way so i think things like necromancy raising of the dead anything that is seen as probably un unholy anything like that um i don't think would ever would ever kind of like work right anyway what's this room I think we kind of need to decide that if that's going to be a staircase or not. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice big lag spike again. It's all you guys that are on here. It's all of you guys. It's fine before. Um, but I will have a look at the anti cheat plugin. It's probably on like super mode, it's on too high. How did I miss those? I even miss, I don't know. So there we go, shove that in there, shove it in there, and I press that. There we go, right. Again, if I go with a, a central beam, which you know got up higher as well, that'll work quite nicely for. I don't know what's going on with the lighting with that one. It's very strange. But yeah, we can have a look at all that kind of stuff. Arc FX, dropped a like, thank you very much. Big Mac, hey man. I hope this is where uh, Pekka from Hamburg lives now. Oh god, I remember all that stuff, man. There's so, there so much good stuff in Hamburg. 
There really was. Um, I'm loving this world, though. At the same time, I'm loving this world. Uh, I've even been thinking about getting onto the capital city down here. I've just been like... Just do a little bit more. Just do a little bit more of these like little projects. Um, I've definitely got to keep the little projects going if I'm going to do a big thing so that I can just get episodes out. But yeah. Yeah. Should be pretty good. So I'm just making sure I'm catching up on anything. Sound of someone zipping something up occasionally as well as a little bit of static. Ah, okay, interesting. It's potentially the microphone, because uh, I did just, as I moved the boxes that were under everything, uh, I did end up knocking the microphone, and it's mainly the cables, so that could have done it. But let me know if it's there. The, s the slight static sound will probably be from my microphone. Um, there's not really too too much you can do. Too much I can do about that. I usually fix it after the video, but for live streams, uh, there's not really any way for me to fix it. It's a bit of one of those, unfortunately. Um, now here we have a toilet, so we need to have this bit as public. Regardless of what else we do. It's got to be. I don't know why, um, I don't know if you guys are the same, but I don't like to, <laughs> I don't like for some reason to use like double slab, I, I don't like it, I think it's because they do count as an actual different block, so yeah, it's just my, me anyway. So yeah, ideas for this place, um, and maybe even this tower as well, this one, definitely do with some ideas, so while I do the floor, come up with a, kind of have a look, see what you think. Ooh, we can actually do something with the ceiling in here. Oh my god, it's so dark, isn't it? Wow. I quite like the oak planks, though, as a floor uh, in here. Even if it's just the bottom floor that we end up doing it for, it just it seems to look quite nice. Um, so I think for the... I'm pretty sure for the, the kind of like eating hall, I've gone for stone, um, which, I, again, I quite like as well. So I've got that. Yeah, I've gone for stone down there. I do quite like that. That kind of works. anti-cheat thing, I'm not hacking. It's going to be one of those that I have to play around in config files, so I will definitely have a look at it without a doubt. Uh, I just won't be able to do it while on the stream. But yeah, I will have a look at it after after the stream, I think, because it's, it's obviously actually got an issue with it. it. seems to only be when there's multiple people. It's almost like it goes, oh, no, there's a couple people and I'm going to screw over. Um, but it does seem to be a little bit overprotective. So there is that. Oops, right. This could technically be a dormitory. Um, I kind of wanted people to be living up a little bit higher because this we can't put any windows on or anything like that. Uh, or, oh, I know what I'll do, actually. Ooh. No, I think this could be a room, like a, a, a teaching room. I mean, one of the classrooms because it's quite dark. What do you think about potions? I think potions? I think so. We'll do that. Let's go for... So for potions, I think we need a... Well, we need a white body type thing. Uh, do I think that Mojang should make it so you can combine slabs to make multicolored textured wood? Yeah, definitely. Um, at the minute, you can't do it with Minecraft. Um, the way that it just... stores it and thinks about things, it just... It just... It's not been programmed that way. Um, if you actually stored the data like this bit as actually this this actual slab then that was a different bit it would be so easy so they'd have to do some uh, data thing because when you do these two together it then actually turns it into another block it's like cheating it doesn't it's not actually it's just it's such a stupid way of doing it, it really is why don't they just store stuff at like a lower level I don't know but anyway no yeah it would be a really good idea I just know that at the minute it's not one that would actually kind of work. Is there any way to just... Actually, we'll go white banner. Or... No. What? Um, 
black. We could do it black. Is there any? We can no, we can't. What I was thinking is, could I um, take up some blocks? So now I've got this block here. Maybe got some here. Can I build up the slabs to go into this point? Let's have a look. Yes, I can. Okay, so if we do this one going to there, here we go. Show you what, guys. What I'm gonna, what I'm actually doing is I'm hiding stuff, um, effectively. So I'm hiding a little bit of a, a little blackboard in here. Um, I really like the black concrete powder. I think it's a fantastic material. So I have like a little black one here. They'll come in. That's what the teacher is. Uh, we could probably do with. Yeah, I can, I can move that one up. So if I move that one down, move that one up. I've run back in again. I can do this. Uh, look at that blackboard. Um, <laughs> it'll be a pretty good potion testing facility. Oh, this is just gonna be potions in general. I think. Like a dark, dark rooms just seem to work, don't they? Um, now for the desks themselves, I think they'd probably have, um, they would probably have actual desks that they, I can imagine them standing at desks rather than sitting at desks, I don't know why. So I'm going to go with something like that. They'd have definitely have mortar and pestle. Now we don't have a mortar and pestle, but we do have a flower pot. And uh, we also obviously do have a cauldron as well and the brewing stands. So what we're going to do is try and make all these different things. So I think the teacher is going to have a nice dark, dark desk. It's fancier, dark and stuff. Well, somebody that's obviously a little bit like Snape sits at. <laughs> that's what we always think. So he'll be here explaining stuff with his mortar and pestle, this thing. And water as well. Cauldron. It's a shame we haven't got like smaller cauldrons. It'd be really cool if we did. Definitely. Uh, Reina Moulinbrock, is the server you build on public? No, it's not. It's a donator only server. Sorry, man. Uh, Harry King, do they need a storeroom? Yeah, definitely. Definitely need some storerooms. Um, but yeah. Standing desks, you don't like them. Uh, my boss at work's got one. Um, she's actually got one that can raise up or raise down. Uh, raise down? Raise up or it can go down as well. So it's, it's getting pretty good actually, the kind of like future stuff. Futuring stuff, you know, all this stuff in the future. I why I said future stuff, but yeah. This one here we can actually have. Today we're going to learn about magma cream. <laughs> and how to apply it correctly to your face. <laughs> so I can imagine. <laughs> Um, it's a shame we haven't got like an arrow because I can just do magma cream equals. And let's have some sort of potion. So I don't know. Let's get something. There you go. I, I, I don't know any of this stuff. So we're just going to go with that for for whatever. Can we just can we shove one of these in there? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So there we go. They're going to teach you how to mortar and pestle stuff and all that. Um, it's a very cramped room. We could do with storage on. Side. Yeah, because they need to be able to... Well, actually, they need to be able to see. So do we have it where they are just, like... I can't... It's too small. <laughs> the room's too damn small. Oh, man. I'll figure it out in a bit. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo. How's it going? Oh, I can hear, like, cave noises. Blocks, blocks, whatever. Environment ambient. There we go. Get rid of that. Has that got rid of my steps? No, no, it hasn't. That's fine. I quite like the steps. I don't know why. It's like the first time in years that I've actually used um, used the audio that we've got. Let's go for. Uh, I'll tell you what, we can go for really small desks. Look, if we have like little desks like this. They're standing on these. We've each got very standard standard equipment. It's really damn cramped because too many majors, man. Too many mages, you know? There you go. Something like that. Okay, we'll go with... Apparently I flipped them around. Yeah, so they'll be stood up here. 
having to do their stuff. Um, pretty simple. And then on the side of this, we'll have some storagey type stuff. Potions. I'm also very aware that that has just caused that to turn in, and probably that yeah, that one as well. It'll do. Um, yeah, that's how much I'm worried about it. So I'll do something like this. We'll have some pots with various herbs in them. The easiest way to do herbs is yeah, Lily of the Valley. We have fern as well, so we'll have like that up there. Down down there. Have some more brewing stand equipment. And probably the dangerous stuff, if there is any dangerous stuff. Have that in a chest, which is by the teacher. So teacher will be here, teaching them how to make a potion. Uh, it'll be the whole snake kind of thing. They're all sat in here. Kinda works, very cramped, but I think it kinda works. So, yeah. Very good. How's it going, Mumba Jumbo? Yeah, I think I've already said hello to you, but I'll say hello to you again. Um, also, GPM. How's it going? Uh, Big Mac says I can use custom heads as small blocks. Absolutely, actually, you are you are completely and utterly right. Um, the only thing, what the hell's a scuttle? Scoot, scoot, scut, 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 scoot. I have no idea. Um, that's the problem with English. Even English people have no idea how to pronounce stuff. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that is at all. Oh, oh shell stuff. Okay. <laughs> something to do with turtles. Right. <laughs> Just something to do with turtles. Who knows? Who knows what the hell that thing is? With a debug stick, you can fix weird stairs. Really? No way. That sounds like magic. That sounds like actual magic in a mage's guild as well, man. Cool. I, I might have to check that out at some point, definitely. Because that would make building more interesting. I just, yeah. Let's do this anyway. Let's go with. Oops, no, let's go. Let's not go with hashtags. Let's go with. Potions. Potions, just potions, classroom, like potions. No, I just got potions, because you just have math, don't you? Math, English, science, music, potions. So I think it's probably like that. Not like that. Instead, so we'll go with that. Shula, like how much of a medieval build should uh, you make on an angle? Like, I don't think I do enough. Um, it's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. So, I'm pretty happy with what I did with Clipped Off for, and I'll show you why, actually, because it kind of makes, to me, it makes sense what I did. Uh, same with these areas around here. So, like that building, I just did flat. That made sense. The mining camp, I just did flat. They're, they're so simple buildings that it just wouldn't have really done much. Um, with these two buildings, I did one at a slight angle. The other one was, you know, I say flat. It's not flat. Straight. One straight. This one, tiny angle. I think that kind of worked because the, the natural road shape just kind of worked with it. So I just made that one a tiny angle. I've even, yeah, I have. Okay. Didn't know I, I didn't know I'd interiored all this stuff. So that was that. Um, for clipped off, what I did is obviously started out with a couple. These two I don't think look right. So one is fine. The other one should have probably been at an angle this way. So I would have probably done that next time. Uh, or will do that next time. Uh, some of the main buildings are, are, are straight, like the barn, warehouse type thing. It just makes more sense. It really does. Um, and same with the blacksmith. The inn, I was actually really hap happy with doing this at an angle. It worked perfectly. Stables, angle. Uh, this housing district worked perfectly at angles. So we've got, in the back, one straight one. And then the rest of them were all to fit space. So we had a 45 degree, which is my least favourite angle ever. Uh, and then these ones all worked perfectly, including this one. So, um, yeah. It, just just have a look at the roads. Make your roads first and, and then try and pick and choose. I would definitely say the less steep the angle, the easier it is to do the interior. Because it starts getting so messy. So, so messy. It really does. Yeah. Uh, the arrow wing, how's it going? 
Lethengrin Lab. What? <laughs> Just lab. Oh, you. Oh, you meant for the uh, uh, potions. Yeah, potions lab. Yeah, actually, that's a. Yeah, potions lab. It's actually a pretty good thing. Now I. Now I understand. What? Lag. It's got to be lag. I was just about to say, what is going on? Right. That's a f I don't know if I have one at the end of it. I can't put any more tildes, but I can put that. Come on, let's make it full laboratory. <laughs> Not that. Um, what's the hardest thing I've ever built in Minecraft? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Star Destroyer? I'd say Star Destroyer is a pretty good um, thing for it. It's just a shape. It's just, there was nothing flat on it. There's nothing straight on it. It's just all with angles and stuff. Fluffy Robot, uh, or Roblot, uh, when's the next episode coming? Very, very soon. Something's definitely lagging out like crazy. I don't think it got that. Um, very, very soon. So I finished it today. So that would have been out tonight if I wasn't streaming. But I thought, you know, I'm actually up for streaming, so let's do it. Yeah, that didn't work. So there we go, that's good. So we've got Potions Laboratory in here. That looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Could do with some spills somehow, you know, like redstone blocks or something. Or redstone even. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping they don't just, you know, drop a whole block. But you never know. Um, yeah, I could do with like some like you know little bits and bobs that around you know maybe Jimmy over in the back here's like really really gone hammered it um, and really dropped a load of stuff so that can kind of work. I can imagine that happening for sure. So yeah, should be pretty good. Um, yeah, so just to show you fluffy Roblot. What we've actually got is mostly, the, it's called uh, Alcalyph Grounds. The stuff that you'll see in it, not to ruin it, but um, to give you a preview, Herbalist. Got a nice little camp thing here, so the idea that wizards uh, journey around in these nice little caravans. Uh, small signal fire, doesn't really add anything, it's just there. It's one of those things that just fills up that little spot. Um, we've also got basically Hagrid's Hut, but not. Uh, <laughs> The greenhouse, which I quite like the greenhouse, the little rookery as well, so we've got some ravens. I need to do the interior for that. I like this um, greenhouse, actually. It works so well with shaders. It looks so cool. Uh, and then the next kind of bits that I built are more on moving on to the next episode, so these kind of bridges, and I love this area. love the look of it. Um, so there's two bridges here. Uh, I've got this nice bridge here, and then it goes up to this rope bridge. And there's like a almost like a pilgrimage type thing where they can go up. It's very Skyrim-esque of that kind of you know, when you go through the mountains and somehow you just turn up somewhere. So we've got a nice little little cavey type thing in here. Go across the whole thing. Uh, and that's going to lead into the next episode. Next episode is going to be doing this little dwarven village in the hills. So that's going to be quite cool. I'm really looking forward to actually doing that. Um, and just, just trying out some dwarven without it being inside as well. Because I was thinking about this and I was like, time lapsing dwarven stuff is going to be really difficult unless it's really well lit or I just don't use shaders. So, yeah, it's one of those. But it should be pretty good. Um, and once the interiors are done of, of basically this area here, once the interiors are done of that, possibly once I've done the dock as well with Dedermis, um, and we're finished with that, this area here can then be uploaded. Ooh. Though Bird needs to finish his uh, his whole town here. Uh, so only a small thing, you know, just, just a town that's... I think bigger than mine. Yeah, it's bigger than mine. So it's bigger than clipped off. So he needs to finish that, obviously. Finish the dwarven thing and his side here as well. And then, uh, then that can all be uploaded, pretty much. But we could do it in stages. So I might do it in stages. Be pretty good. Um, ideas for this, guys? Anyone? Anyone new? Anyone new? Yeah, no. Uh, also, we could actually have this building could go into this. Ah, no, this has got the toilet in it. Yeah, it's got the bathroom. So that doesn't really work for that side got to have some way of getting in. I, pr I think probably actually having a door here makes a lot of sense. So we will do that. Uh, what would be in here then? I'll do the same thing with the beams. So I 
quite like it. I like the look of it. Um, I think the beams it's, itself like, works quite good. Oh, Bird, you thought about time lapse in the dwarf thing too? I know, it's really like... it. Even with replay mods, you'll spend so much time trying to get the angles right and the and the light right. I think what you'd end up doing is like knocking out a load of blocks here, placing the block, knocking out a load of blocks and placing the block of light and then destroying those and then trying to redo it. I just think... I don't know, I'm going to try it when we get onto the main dwarf city, um, which is like an actual city, but for the time being, I don't know, I'm not sure it would work with the darkness and it's trying to get... I think you then have to think about the camera constantly and rather than just building, so yeah, really different, dif really difficult. Yeah, something like that. Maybe an armory, not for, well, staff maker. If, we've, if we're going to have, well, if we've got, this is the potions laboratory, which could even have a door here, not here. It's the benefit of that. What would be the benefit of having those? Open the door. It makes it easier. I can then get rid of this door and we just have... Yeah, right. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that door. Let's have a door in there. So we've got that going into here. That feels a lot more secluded now. Yep, we have to redo the sign, but whatever. Um, I think that feels a lot better. It looks a lot better. Let's go with that. Next line. There we go, that'll do. There's one like that. Uh, sorry, I'll just read what Bird said. Mostly you just flying all over the place and the camera not having a wide enough FOV to support that. Well, well, you can increase it, it's just you'll then get to this, like, Especially when you start running, it just looks crazy, doesn't it? It's like... Whoa. Yeah, it's really difficult, because I usually, when I'm doing my recording, have it actually on 70 for the time lapse camera, so I'd have it like this. So I find that 90, although it's great for building, it looks just a little bit too far back for um, recording everything. Um, so yeah. There we go. So this has the toilet on it. I think that, because it has the toilet on it, this should definitely have... Either this just goes in, and that's it. You know, we just have it go into here, which goes to the loo. Um, or we have both of them, so they can go through here. So that's going to force them through this way. So we could do with... still. Well, we could still have this door. Let's just have something in here. I don't know. Have a look. Dragon to go with it. Oh, man. Oh god, dragons. I've I've been thinking about dragons for so long, man. Like, do I do them or do I not? I would love to. Um I so going back about four years now, um, on Isles of Dacross when we were I did a stream on it and we were talking about dragons and having like different dragons for or different magical creatures for each thing. Um but we came up with really good ideas for it. Like a goblin type dragon beast type things and um Others for like the Hobbit one, even even a Hobbit one, uh, obviously the Dark Dragon, and we did I did talk about it, but when it comes to building them, they're so difficult, so so difficult. Um, yeah, it would really be difficult to do. Um, right, staff making, I think, and we'll leave that door that gap in there. We'll do some staff making so they can actually go in here and. Staff and wand making, you know, like that kind of thing. Because I can imagine that they have to learn how to do it. Similar to, like, a lightsaber. <laughs> you're going to be making a wand, like a small lightsaber, or you're going to have a big one, which is your staff. Um, just to channel that energy, I think. That makes a lot of sense. So, staff. It's like woodwork. <laughs> it's like school woodwork, isn't it? So, it's um, staff, wand, workshop. There we go. Oh, man, this is actually going to be pretty cool, actually. It's definitely going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Dragon cave with riches above the dwarf area. <laughs> oh man. One day maybe. Yeah, one day. 
Uh, should start Odin. Joined a bit late. Uh, has the library been added to the interior? Um, not yet, but we've got an area for it. So we've got... We haven't done this all on the stream, by the way. Um, we've got the uh, kind of like eating hall. We've got a kitchen. Um, we're going to make a staff wand workshop in here. So woodwork, basically. Got potions type stuff, which is chemistry. So that's pretty much basically magic. Being a mage is like being at normal school, really. Um, we have got the area up here where... I'm using this to just jump up here for the time being. Uh, where we're going to put the... Not in here. Where we're going to put the library is going to be in this bit. A small library. So this is going to be like really small because it's a pass-through uh, to get to this nice back open area. So it kind of makes a lot of sense. Love the mountains around this area as well. It's really cool. Um, it's, I think it's my favourite bit of this map so far has been this area. This valley is just so cool. Um, yeah, so at the minute we've got that. So we'll put like a... Uh, library in here. So whether we have these doors going into these or we just keep them as going into into this main corridor. Not decided. I think with this one I'm going to end up having a small section of it dedicated to staircase. Um, the more I think about it, the more I think it's going to work. It's going to have to work. So yeah, definitely have this at the library. Um, yeah, uh, apart from that, the only other thing we've done... So we've, we're quite far behind. I mean, it's quite it's quite big. Um, castle interiors, like, they just go on forever. Uh, we have built a little common room. So we've got a small common room in here. I think it's actually... Actually, this looks really cosy. Pretty happy with this. It's just quite nice and simple. Got kind of bookcases for studying. We've got these nice windows. So again, because it's not really a functional castle anymore. Um, it was a fort. It's been converted. Uh, not really converted. It's been changed. That water looks so weird. So weird. It's like ghost water. It's so strange. I guess that's all the way. Yeah, it's with all of that. Did not realise that. Um, yeah, with all of this, uh, this whole castle is, it is quite big. We've got to think about a thing for this tower. Um, and then, yeah, going up to the next floor. Library, we've got another two towers. Well, four towers are empty. Um, this one is just a stair tower at the minute, so it's not, it's not got anything else in there. And it goes all the way to the top as well. Uh, this floor... This is where we're going to have some of the serious, bigger classrooms, I think. As well as most of the actual dormitory type stuff. So, uh, yeah, and this, some of these towers go up quite a bit. So, like, this, I think, probably with the biggest tower or that's not the tallest, I think we will go with this one being the Archmages. Um, actually, let's, let's do that. Let's write that down. There you go. Do something like that. Definitely. Uh, Fluffy Rob Lot has got to go. No worries, man. Thank you very much for coming on the stream. So, yeah. Uh, Enemen Yamoto. Hey, how's it going? Oh, this is going to be... Yeah, this is the fireplace as well, isn't it? I put in. So I kind of need that to go. Oh, also the roof is not actually straight. It's actually angled. Um, which I don't think people noticed on the video. Uh, that it's actually angled. It's just... It ended up being angled because of the, the different towers that I had. So, I was actually pretty happy with that. Because it just, it just made it a bit different. So all these are going to be like... Stuff. Um, I did think about, you know, having like similar kind of Harry Potter houses. Um, and having a tower for each of them. But we've only got four towers. And because we've got this one with the stairs in it, it doesn't doesn't really work. So, yeah, a bit of a shame with that. Do you like the oak wood though? I'm definitely liking the oak wood. So in here, we've got the hall wand workshop. So the idea with this one, I don't know if we've got <laughs> it's got the toilet on the side of it. I don't think we really need to build up with that bit. Isn't Archmage spelled Archmage? It is, absolutely. Um, I probably just spelt it wrong, Lids. Thank you for correcting my English. <laughs> there we go. Danish people. They know English better than English people. <laughs> uh, can I do a video on the castle? Um, what, the interior kind of walkthrough? I definitely will do one with uh, Zarius uh, HD or Zarius Plays or... No, he's changed his name now. Zyridius? I want to say Zyridius. I totally want to see Zyridius. I think it's that. Um, so yeah, that'd be pretty much it. Um, kitchen is in that area there, so that's where everything gets cooked up. It's in here. It's a very small kitchen. Really is, but you know you got everything. You got stuff around, little stove, uh, some water, 
you got your beer and stuff there. Um, butter beer, obviously, because they're, they're mages. Um, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if they'd have butter beer or not. Um, but yeah. Should make a Fallout 4 map. I've thought about it, but it's... It's difficult, um, because I have thought about doing it before. It is really difficult. You have to get the right texture pack, and if you've got the right texture pack, it then you just kind of build in a very sloppy way, and it seems to work. But yeah, it's one of those. Writing Danish um, builds, I just write in Danish and hope I don't mess it up. It's fair enough. <laughs> right, so wand making. Um, the good thing is, wand and staff making, right? Basically, it's just woodwork, and that means we can use the stone cutter and all this kind of stuff. Um, so, that's actually quite nice. It's pretty good. Let's do nice. set of stuff so I can I think the guy that's going to be doing this is going to be less about um, showing people and then having to do it I think it's more of a do it I don't know um, but we are going to have the different types of wood definitely shame we can't like somehow separate them you know like using magic which I'm sure we can so there we go so we've got all these different Wish we could. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we can do. I think we end up just doing. Just take out. Take out the oak, perhaps. Just have that. Lots of colour. So we got like sticks and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then we'll have like these longer desks. I can imagine them like really working in pairs. At least, I mean, that was the that was the idea. Of the, oh god, <laughs> that was the idea with the other one anyway. So they might have like this. They'll saw some stuff up. Um, maybe this guy's working on one here. Um, <laughs> this is bizarre. I I never thought I was going to do this. I had like some ideas in my head of um, <laughs> the kind of thing that I'd do, but. Honestly, guys, this did not really come to it. Um, did not really, uh, yeah, come to my mind. I wonder if we can actually use the... Uh, can we use... Fence gates. It's going to look better. Just looks weirder, I think. The idea with this is that there's different types of wood that they can use. That was what I was thinking with it, with it really. So you know, like that kind of stuff. This one's just just cutting down a normal one. Um, we've got a nice, really long workbench on the back here, perhaps you know, for more of the equipment. I don't know. Definitely would have something like that. Uh, and bits of wood that's around. Yeah. Let's get rid of... Which one's that one? Jungle. Yeah, I do want jungle. What else can I do in this? <laughs> debug stick could be used to have the fences separate. Right, what is this debug stick? Let's have a look. Help. Done on debugging. See, is it something of world edit, or is it just a is it a future feature? Debug, yeah. Even though it sees it there. Start. No, it's definitely not that. You gotta tell me more about this debugging thing, man. You gotta tell me about it. You gotta do it. Right. 
Now they're into woodworking. Absolutely, yeah. They're totally into woodworking. you got to think about this. It's like making a lightsaber, man. That's what I'm telling you. Except that it's, uh, you know, not a lightsaber. It's, uh... <laughs> really, it does, it does seem a bit stupid. But, you know, this is totally it. It's either making wands or making other things. I think we just have a couple at a time, and they just have to take it in turns. So they make their wands. They make, um, staffs. All of that. Cool. Thank you very much for the command, my man. I'll give it a go. Yeah, it doesn't know it. I'm guessing it's in the future. I'm only in 1.14. In 1.14, you can put angle item frames on all angles. Oh yeah, yeah, you're totally, you are totally right, man. I know exactly what you mean. That would totally work for the wand. Um, yeah, just it's it's one of those features that got added that I'm aware of. But I never think about it at all. Like, I never, ever think about it. Uh, I might actually have this one. Think about it. Think about this, right? This guy's working on that. And then this one's working on a wand, perhaps. So this is a staff. So he's doing something with a staff, somehow. I don't know what this means. Maybe sands. Maybe it's sandpaper. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Who knows? Depends what 1.14 one fourteen you're on. We're on 1.14.4. Um, uh, did, did I figure out how if it's possible to put swords on armor stands? It absolutely is. I've done it. I just don't remember how to do it. So, yeah. That's the problem. Uh, I think there's a debug stick in the snapshot. Uh, okay. There's probably a plugin for it, to be fair. Uh, in staff making, use beeswax in there. Put a button on as well as some beeswax. I haven't got any beeswax yet, so we're currently on 1.14.4. So we've not got um, all the bits and bobs. Uh, well, all the future stuff. I've got to have a look at all the bits, <laughs> all the future stuff. I think with this one, we're just going to actually have a button on the table, perhaps. Uh, I do quite like the Acacia, it looks quite, you know, different. So they've got, yeah, there we go, look, that actually looks pretty good, so that could be... Got something. <laughs> just like looking at this, just going like, what? Um, oh man, why do we decide to do these kind of things? Like, hey, let's do something I've never seen before, yeah, why not? <laughs> it's brilliant. But at the same time, it's like, actually, this is why it's quite good. So, this will do for now. I think if you walked in here, uh, you'd probably get confused, but it'll do. <laughs> uh, Mr. Man says uh, they removed it in later snapshots. Ah, fair enough. Um, yeah, I think you'd be a little bit confused at first, but then I think you'd get it. You'd be like, yeah, I get this. This makes sense, you know? Is there anything like I can use this like a drawing or just anything? Anything that's no idea. Oh, someone's there. Ah, it's Didermis. I think it's going to the loo. <laughs> oh man, it's terrible. Yo, what's on? I love... Oh, dude, your skin looks awesome. I've got to change mine. I've been thinking about this for like a while now. I need to change mine. I've been the sailor for so long. And now I'm doing lots of medieval. I think I've got to change it. That is a, such a good skin. It's like, an, it's like a proper, like... It's like an, almost like a Norman type thing. Oh, man. Anyway. <laughs> How's it going placed on the cat? Thanks, dudes. I've got to finish this. i just got to, like, somehow power through... This. I'll, what I'll do is I'll do I'll do some more streams on it. I think it's going to be one of those that I just keep on knocking at. Um, obviously, we've got got those two rooms at the time being. Yeah, potions. I'm pretty happy with actually. It's nice and nice and stuck with stuff. We've got the staff, and yeah, I, actually, I'm I'm happy with this. Viking king, just a Viking king. Well, that's fair enough, man. Got to be a Dane. What is the Danes? I love Danes. It's just it's so cool. 
got to start watching Vikings again, man. I love that show. Um, so yeah, we've actually nearly finished every. Oops. Well, I could do with doing that anyway. But um, we've nearly finished everything. We just got to figure out what this room's going to be, and I think this one might actually be like a staff room, <laughs> which I can kind of. Can we imagine that? No, I think they would want light. They wouldn't want anything. This could be a storeroom. Just have stuff in it, really. Um, definitely. Can you try to make the item frame invisible? I don't know. I don't know if there's any way to do it. But yeah, guys, what I'll do is because it's getting a little bit well later, not actually late as such, but oh my god, look how dark it is. Um, what we'll end up doing is I might call it there for a night. Get everything all done, and then uh, see how everything goes. I love how everybody closed the doors like really politely. <laughs> yeah, we've got a blacksmith already, but we don't need one for don't we need one for here? But we'll do one for um, definitely do one in the in the dwarven place because uh, they're going to be like forging stuff with magic as well. Could definitely do with an enchanter, um, so enchant enchanting place, um, enchanting. Already got like potion smithing uh, and stuff like that, or, or potion making, potion laboratory, um, and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, pretty good. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this stream, uh, and I'll try and do more in the future. And yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yes, I will definitely try and have a look, Shula, at the anti cheat thing. I'll see if I can just like lessen it because, to be fair, we've never had any issues on it. I mean, it's donator anyway, but you know, it's one of those things just to make sure that. Um, it gets stuck. What I think does happen is I do think it, that when lots of people are trying to do lots of things, it starts to be really harsh and goes, oh, I can't check all of this. Just stop people from doing things. So that doesn't really work. Um, so I'll have a look at that straight after the stream. But anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one.